He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, O oh, group of people who have professed Islam with your tongues, but true belief has not yet entered into your hearts, do not backbite the Muslims and do not seek after the faults of the Muslims. For verily, whoever seeks after the fault of his Muslim brother, Allah will seek after his faults. Whoever looks for the faults of his Muslim brother, Allah will find his faults. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finds his faults, يفضحه, he will expose that person. He will expose that person in front of the people. Even if he did what he did in the innermost part of his home, Allah will expose that person. Some of the Salaf, such as Aun, Ibn Abdullah, Ibn Utbah ibn Mas'ud, the great Imam from the Tabi'een, he said, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him. He said, لا أحسب رجل ينظر في عيوب الناس إلا من غفلة غفلها عن نفسه. He said, I don't see and I don't believe that a person can ever have time to look at the faults of others except because of some heedlessness and some ignorance about his own situation. Except because of some heedlessness and some ignorance about his own situation. And Muhammad ibn Sirin, he said, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, kunna nuhadithu anna akthar al-nasi khataya afraguhum li dhikri khataya al-nas. Muhammad ibn Sirin, the Imam from the times of the Salaf, he said, may Allah have mercy upon him. He said that we used to speak about and we used to narrate to one another that the people who have the most sins and the people who have the most mistakes are those who have the most time to worry about the mistakes and the faults of others. And they used to say, أَعْلَمُ النَّاسِ بِالْآثَاتِ أَكْثَرُهُمْ آثَاتٍ They used to say that those who know most about the mistakes of people and the errors of people and the faults of people are those people who have the most problems themselves. Are those people who have the most problems themselves.